So is this New York race just one special election, or does it send a national message heading into the 2012 election cycle? Let's ask Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz. She's also the chairwoman of the Democratic National Committee. Congresswoman, which is it? One election or a big message? Oh, I think it sends a very strong national message to Republicans, and I, I hope what they come away with uh, in yesterday's election results is that Americans do not want to end Medicare as we, as we know it. They don't want the safety net that is, uh, is Medicare pulled out from underneath our senior, senior citizens. They understand that entitlement reform is necessary, and Democrats want Republicans to sit down at the table with us and really hammer out a compromise, uh, a workable solution, so that we're not balancing all the pain and all the hurt on the backs of our seniors. And I think the voters in the 26th District in New York sent a very strong signal to that effect yesterday. I mean, John, it's the 426th worst district for Democrats in the country. There's only nine districts out of 435 that are worse than this one for Democrats. And a Democrat won the election, and it was Medicare. Well, I want to talk about the policy in a minute, but I want to focus now on the politics. Medicare was a big issue, and I want you to listen here to a snippet of one of the ads from your candidate, the winner, Kathy Hochul. Jane Corwin said she would vote for the 2012 Republican budget that would essentially end Medicare. Seniors would have to pay $6,400 more for the same coverage. Now, she's talking there about the House Republican budget. It was written by the Budget Committee Chairman Paul Ryan. Listen here. Paul Ryan spoke to R. Kate Baldwin today, and he says that ad and the entire campaign, in his view, was a lie or, at a minimum, <laughs> highly misleading. You um, handed the political playbook to the Democrats for 2012? If you you're willing to lie and demagogue Medicare and scare seniors, then, yeah, they have a political weapon. That's a shame on them for lying to seniors. They've distorted this so much. Remember one thing. Our plan doesn't change benefits for a person 55 years of old of age or higher. Now, I know, Congresswoman, <laughs> Madam Chairwoman, you don't like what Paul Ryan proposes, but he is right that what he proposes would not affect anybody age 55 or older, and the Democratic rhetoric suggests something otherwise, does it not? Paul Ryan and the Republicans proposed and voted for and continue to push ending Medicare as we know it. So whether you are 65 or 55, uh, it, what they did was that they proposed an additional $6,400 in costs for seniors in health care and in exchange in that budget, a $200,000 additional t tax break for the wealthiest Americans. I mean, that's not a fact that they can run away from as much as they might try. Newt Gingrich even thought that plan was too radical. And now that they've lost an election over it, I can understand why they want to retreat. Um, Paul Ryan is... Uh, is, is uh, let's let's say the pot calling the kettle black. If you recall, leading up to the 2010 elections, the Republicans were the ones that were engaging in scaring Americans about Medicare. When we actually, uh, the Democrats added 12 years of solvency to Medicare in the Affordable Care Act. We also made sure that we closed the donut hole. We made sure that we had prevention, pro uh, prevention uh, and wellness in the Medicare where they couldn't get coverage for that uh, before the, the Affordable Care Act passed. So. When it comes to lying and distorting the facts about which party is supportive of Medicare and trying to make sure that it's better for seniors and which party wants to end it, I think, uh, I think it's pretty clear that the people that want to end it is, uh, is clearly the Republicans. They've proposed it, they own it, and now they're going to have to uh, be held accountable for it. Debbie Worsman Schultz is the Congresswoman from Florida, also the Chairwoman of the Democratic National Committee. Thanks for your time tonight. Thank you, John.